green button? Oh, there we go. All right. So welcome to the planning board. Um, we'll start the meeting with uh, our roll call. Board member Bartland. Board member Bold. Here. <laughs> board member Dusen. Here. Board member Elrod. Here. Board member Graham. Board member Moore. Here. Board member uh, Ranville. Present. Board member Rudnicki. Present. Board member Samuelson. Here. You have a quorum. So do we want to ask the alternate to come forward or do we need to? So the first thing we have is the minutes from April 8th, 2013. Do we have any comments or revisions from the board? Yeah, I, I was recorded as seconding something. I, I did not second it. I'm sorry? I was, I think, recorded as seconding one of the motions. I did not. I was? Uh, I didn't line recall. Number? Oh, line number? Oh. Oh, you mean in the minutes. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I'm sorry, the minute? Oh, what did you say? I'm sorry. The minutes from April 8th. Right. So in the minutes, I was recorded as seconding something. And Do we have that on there? I thought I saw that in there. I, I didn't realize I was supposed to get the line number. Was that during the approval of the March 11th minutes? I, I just saw my name in there somewhere, and I just know I didn't second anything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Perhaps. okay. But it's, I don't, it doesn't matter a whole lot to me. But. Does anybody want to claim the second? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which one we're talking about. I didn't, I didn't realize I was supposed to record line numbers. But yeah. for... Well, we don't know who. I don't, obviously, I didn't know other than that uh, by watching Granicus, I didn't okay. find anything That's else. Fine. Sure, record me then. Ho hopefully, you agreed. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think we all voted right. in favor. <laughs> okay. Do you have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Vote to approve or just not. Where's the magic button? I don't know. Oh, on the side. Beside it, Randy. Where's the magic button? <laughs> it's a switch you got on. There it is. Oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> All right, since there was a question on the other minutes, who made the motion to approve these minutes? Kurt. Thank you. I second. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> okay. So we're moving on to uh, any uh, unscheduled appearances. I don't think we have any scheduled. Or is there anyone who would like to address the board from the public or general? Mr. Chairman, it can't be about what's on the agenda. Just to be right. Clear. This is not about what's right. on the agenda. Please state your name and address, please. My name is Leah Burkett. I live at 5730 South Bemis Street. And I'm here tonight to thank you for all your um, work on the comp plan that you've been working on. I sat in your session with council last week. And um, that was the first draft that I had seen of it. And I just have a couple of um, questions and concerns and wanted to be part of that process earlier on before it's finalized. Um, do you all have a copy of the comp plan with you, or will you be talking about that tonight? Um, we don't necessarily have it with us. We were not, weren't going to talk about it, but I happen to. Uh, I love the part about the outdoor Littleton um, and the Platte River enhancements that you're thinking about. Um, I think the outdoor Littleton is very important. Um, some of the dynamic Littleton areas are of particular concern to me. Um, strengthening downtown number nine. This is goal number two, section nine, mm -hmm. part B. 
increasing housing densities to help provide the critical mass of residents necessary to enliven the streets and support the stores and restaurants. Um, curious what this critical mass of residents means. Um, and part C, achieving building heights that allow the desired mass and scale while respecting the pedestrian environment of Main Street and downtown's small town character. Um, just some confusion on what achieving building heights mean and what desired mass and scale means. Who is it desired by? Okay. Um, I had a chance to look over the downtown comp plan in a little bit more detail and I'm confused why the city of Littleton's comp plan for the entire city is seven pages long and just for a very small downtown area is 44 pages long. The, the change in direction and scope and, and things is just it's confusing to me that at a, at a larger scale, the, the document would be smaller. It doesn't make logical sense to me. Um, um, some of the planning processes in general that I tried to educate myself about, um, I don't see any issues that we're currently facing kind of stated in the comp plan, like an executive summary of what the overall climate in Littleton is and what the need for some of these changes really is. Um, I know that the economic development plan has just been adopted and that they're meant to kind of work in concert, but I'd like to see the two documents interconnected. Um, You're referring to the downtown plan and the current comp plan? The economic, the economic, economic development control. plan that was just passed last week um, and how, how the two are going to work together for an overall direction for our city. Um, the parking, uh, I guess it's kind of identified in the downtown plan and that's maybe more specific to that too. Never mind. Um, <coughs> I guess just overall that I'm confused why it's so so short and broad and all the other comp plans I looked at for other cities are enormous. So that's Okay. Thank that's you. About it. Anybody else? So she's my better half. Uh, I'm Ben Burkett. I'm at 5730 South Bema Street, and I'm going to echo a lot of what Leah said. Um, I appreciate your time and effort in this process. Leah just showed me a couple articles about the history of developing the, the comp plan, and, whoa, it's long time coming, it sounds like, and there's a lot of discussion around it. Uh, because of that, though, that means you potentially might get pushed and to expedite and try and complete the, the comprehensive plan when it may not quite be ready for that. I just ask you, use your judgment. Um, take your time. As Leah pointed out is, you know, both of us looked through uh, the comprehensive plans. I looked through Denver, Lakewood, and Inglewood to get a varying uh, understanding of what they, some of these plans look like. I have a hard time comparing or reconciling the city of Littleton's comprehensive plan to what the appearances and what the substance is of those other plans. And I, it may be because the current draft does not include some of those specific zones. However, I, the, uh, some of the other plans that I looked at, they actually have a plan, a layout for where we want to go as a city and what are objectives, not just goals, but objectives that may be specific to certain areas. Um, for example, I remember the Denver one, maybe not so comparable, but it specifically called out the Stapleton area and look at the development that's happened there and the resurgence of that area. Uh, Lakewood specifically, I saw, uh, it talks about infill and not having a lot of space to 
uh, open space to do development. And that sounded very similar to us. Uh, but they had specific zones that they had chartered out and laid out, said these are the areas that we are going to try and focus on. And I kind of like that. And part of that reason why I like it is as a city, I know where we want to go. I know what our objectives are. I know what to hold ourselves accountable to. And I have an idea, the city council themselves can under, have a better understanding uh, of where we want to go. And I can hold them accountable as well. And in this plan, um, a lot of the uh, concepts are very general and broad in nature. And uh, it brings me back to a conversation that we had that Scott actually attended one night. And I appreciate you for coming. But it talked about the comp plan as being like a social contract. Whether it is or not doesn't matter. Point being is this is a document that is going to be guiding the city. And when you have general terms in any sort of contract, it comes up for interpretation, which can means they can be misconstrued by anyone. And nobody knows where we stand. And um, we really need to have a, a comprehensive plan. I don't, if it's seven pages, great, but it needs to be comprehensive. It needs to have a plan laid out. And the more, I don't want to say detail, because some of that comes in the zoning, but the more information there is there, the more um, reliability I as a citizen can know and understand what's going to be happening in my neighborhood, in our city, the next neighborhood down the road. Um, you have any questions, feel free. Otherwise, that's it. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hi, Planning Board. My name is Pam Chadbourne. I live at the corner of Crestline in Nevada in downtown. So uh, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, April 22nd, I presented to you a very quick uh, idea of how you could achieve a good comp plan. I guess the implication is, is that this one is not, it's insufficient to be specific, and I'm echoing what Ben and Leah have said. A comprehensive plan uh, needs to have specifics for dates, and the reason for that is, as Ben alluded to, you have to be able to measure our progress. If this plan, if any plan, doesn't have targets with dates, then it is not measurable, and that is failure of the plan, not of the city. It's a failure of the plan, and it means that the plan has to be fixed. So um, I wanted to ask you in the remaining time if you had a chance to look at what I showed you last week and what your thoughts were. Uh, Mr. Chairman, or we can't. Last week or last session. We cannot discuss it. I'm sorry, Pam. So why is that? Because it's unscheduled. I'm sorry. If it was a scheduled agenda item, then we could have some discussion. Okay. That's... All right, good. Thanks for clarifying that. Sure. The other question that I had is I'd like to know what the oath is to be on the planning board. And if it's not available tonight, um, I hope it's ready next time. Sorry, Anybody? I missed that, Pam. What, do you, what was that statement? I think you take an a oath oh, okay. to be on the planning board. And I wanted to know the text. No oath. So there is no commitment from the individuals on the board to um, any kind of standard of performance or metric. We'll check on that, Pam, and I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks. Can you leave your, um, your number, your email with Doreen, and I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, thank you for those comments. Um, we are continuing with that process, so um, we'll take those words and Give them good thought. So, okay. Um, we now have uh, the Broadstone and Littleton Station rezoning from B2 to R3 to PDR at 2100 Littleton Boulevard and 5795 South Bema Street. Mr. Chairman and, uh, and planning board members, um, 
As you saw, the staff uh, provided you a staff report on the project. The applicant has requested a continuance of the case till June 24th to give them an opportunity to address those concerns. Um, since that point, uh, I believe some of the informal networks in the community have also been notified that um, the, we would not be a public hearing tonight, and that's why you don't <coughs> have the room full, I believe. And then we've also posted on our site that um, the case is going to be continued. So that we ask that you not open a public hearing and um, just basically make a motion in a second, and we'll have the full hearing on June 24th. <clears throat> Do I have a motion? Motion to move the Broadstone consideration to June 24th. Second? Second. Any discussion? So basically we have to, since you've already said it's been moved, right? So we can't have it tonight. What was that? I'm sorry. So, so basically what I've just heard you say is that we, we basically cannot have a public hearing tonight. We would recommend you not have a public hearing tonight, correct, because, again, other people have stayed away, and that wouldn't be fair um, for those folks that were not there, that are not here tonight. So we basically have to vote yes. For no, you can vote no. Okay. Well, yeah. No. Any other discussion? Um, where did the June 24th date come from? I'm thinking that uh, they're going to be looking at revising their plans. It needs staff review. It needs to get to us at least a week or two before, so because it's so contra uh, so uh, complicated, it's going to take a while for us to digest. Just as last time, um, doesn't seem to be enough time to do all those things. So, where did the 24th come from? I think we worked backwards, um, and we thought it's, I believe, a month and a half, roughly. So, um, um, we think that that will be enough time. If it's not, we'll have another one of these votes. <laughs> As a matter of procedure, are we allowed to, if we pass this, are we allowed to remember that we've read this packet once before? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, this will be part of the record um, from which you would make your decision, and they may or may not come forward with a revised proposal. Okay. So we're, we don't have to forget what we know. Right. I, I don't oh. have to ask. I don't have to sit you in the chair and hook you up and wash it away. So. Any other comment? Are we um, having reviewed the documents? Are there, if there's clarifying questions that we have of staff, are those questions we could still bring forward or no? Uh, my advice would be that we not, that we just continue the case and that you not open it up to questions uh, just for for um, the issue of preserving the record, that it all occur then at June 24th because we don't know what that presentation will look like. And in the interest of fairness to all involved, the applicant, staff, and public, that they all um, are present to hear that information at that time. So by continuing the current case just moves forward as is, but they can submit changes, and, but the staff has to create a new report? Correct. Okay. Is the account, applicant here tonight? Could they present? <clears throat> or would they not present? We would have to open a public hearing. The applicant is not prepared to present this evening. No. And staff is not prepared. So we have to vote no. <laughs> or no. No. Or we have to vote for a continuance, vote. basically. You can vote how you want. All right. Okay. Can, can I ask a quick question? When you guys make changes to the to the packet for the for June twenty fourth, will you be creating a whole new packet or redlining the changes? So well, we can see the differences. A good question. We would uh, basically create a new staff report. Yeah, so we wouldn't show you corrections, I guess. Um, but we'd certainly point out the difference between okay. the previous and this one. Right. But it wouldn't be a red line version, I guess. Okay. But we will point out the differences. Okay. Call for the vote. Passes. Thank you. Okay, next item is uh, general business. The meeting. Who are going to be, be around at that point in time? You better close it up for what? I mean, 
if you knew that this was coming, you said you had it on the website, why couldn't you put it on the sign? Are you unable to put it on sir, the sign? You put it on the sign, sir. Please, when? June 24th, come back, we'll have it on the sign. I'm not sure what sign you're referring to, but. Is he order? Correct. So we will uh, make the proper notices. We will make the we will make the proper notices that have to be done for the June twenty fourth. So how far ahead does that have to be? Two weeks. We've got to move on. Well, so I don't know what the proper notification has to be done for for the sign. We just we just voted on this. Can we move on, yeah. please? Yes, please. So, no. General, the call. The, 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 do we have security? The emergency button, please, and call the deputy. I don't know where it is. I have to figure out where that is. You made one good point, and I think uh, perhaps. I'm and sorry, we've, we've already voted. Let's, we can't discuss it. Okay, general business, is there any general business to be brought forward? Uh, uh, just uh, one question. Would you, please, would you please call the police? Do you have an emergency button up there? Please call the police. No, there's an emergency. Can we get the booth to call a police officer? Please, we're trying to finish the meeting. Uh, Look, we've heard I don't care. I just came down here specifically for this. I checked on the sign today to make sure that I had all the information right. Now, you guys are not letting the public know what's going on. You knew it at that time, and you didn't tell anybody. We're moving forward with the meeting. No. These guys wouldn't no. take it before the vote. They jammed the vote through. Sir, listening. we have the Lodleton police coming to help us. Remove you, please. Uh, I guess a question before we move on. I won't be here on the 24th. Would I be allowed to make any comments now or? No. Uh, no. Is there any way I can submit any comments or? No. Like a letter or something or? As a citizen, yes. Okay. Okay. We now have staff report. Uh, but Glenn has stepped out, so he'll have to wait. So I'm going to go ahead with the chairman's staff report, our report. And it's simply um, talking about our, well, let me just say to the general public, um, the meeting is basically complete. Uh, we're just doing reports, and there's nothing else on the agenda. Um, so you're, you're welcome to stay. Um, and uh, listen to me talk about computers. But I thank you for coming tonight. I apologize that if you came for the hearing and it didn't happen, uh, I hope you do come back on June 24th. So I just have a question or a comment about the, the iPods. I know we've had, or iPads, we've had some problems with getting emails, and I know I had a little confusion on mine but it was more a function of how to use it than anything else. Um, but is everybody getting their messages currently, um, emails and everything? I, I am, um, but I think LaDonna had sent an, a message that she was not. Do you yeah, I got that. Got that so, one. Um, my problem, the reason I couldn't find certain things is that the emails get attached to respond Whenever somebody replies to an email, they get attached to a string. And I didn't know that the uh, email that I was looking for, which was from Donna, which actually had the packet in it, was at the end of seven emails that were attached on a string of emails. Um, so it's just a matter of me learning how to use and read the emails. I can show you how to use that. Oh, okay, great. 
Um, so that's, case. so if anybody has any other issues with that, we really want to make sure that these iPods work for us. And um, I'm still trying to figure out how to use some of the programs, but that'll, that'll happen in time, so. Yeah. Yeah, pull that over. Just been wanting to organize my emails by folders, and I found that it won't let us create subfolders. I don't know if it's a protection thing. Is that something that they could look into just so we can find these emails more readily? Ask. Why don't you IT. just just email me with that question, and we'll take care take it to IS. Okay. Um, so, Glenn, do you have a quick report for us? Uh, the only thing I was going to add is um, if we do want to set a study session, um, again, to kind of wrap up the comp plan, which is the citywide goals, mm -hmm. high level, um, uh, we were looking at May 29th because your, your regular meeting would be Memorial Day. Um, typically, if that happens, we move it to a Wednesday because then you get outside the council schedule. Um, so if you can check your calendar. That is a Wednesday. Seven o'clock, Glenn. Seven. Or do you yep. want to go earlier? You'd like to start earlier? Is there any issue with that? I would encourage the board to, uh, for us to have that meeting because we now have a, a aggressive schedule for the comp plan. So are there any comments on having that meeting on the 29th? I would say it's uh, timely and necessary as well. Um, I will not be there on the 29th. There's <coughs> no way I can be here. But please continue on with that. Okay. That are there, for me. Yep. Scott? I don't have my calendar on me. Okay. Everybody? I think I'm good. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I do want to do 6.30, get, get going early and end earlier. As long as we end on time, don't go to 9. Yeah, 6.30. As long as we end by 8.30. So 6.30? I can do 6.30. Okay, 6.30, 29th. Good. When, when are we going to get, well, we had some comments from council. I shared those with Dennis, and I think he took some comments as well. Mm -hmm. Are we going to get a draft again that we could look at, or? We should be able to get that to you this week. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, any other comments from, it says commissioners, but it probably means board members, right? Okay. My only comment is on the Broadstone proposal, it uh, would make sense to have large law enforcement in the room during that conversation. That is now evident. <laughs> um, and maybe an explanation on Robert's rules of orders and when the public can speak. Yeah, I'll have to bone up on that. Um, do we vote on adjourning? Yep, you got to have motion and second. And motion. <laughs> do I have a motion to close the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Vote. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you for coming.